Poland is making a substantial investment in its defense industry, allocating over $230 million to modernize and expand the Bumerle de Armored Vehicle Plant in Gliwice. This move represents a significant step toward enhancing the country's military capabilities, particularly in the production of advanced armored vehicles such as the K2PL main battle tank. The funding, totaling PLN 850 million, is designed to establish a modern production hub capable of handling both wheeled and tracked armored vehicles while maintaining support for existing systems, including the CRAB self-propelled gun. The investment is not merely financial, it reflects a broader strategic ambition to secure technological independence and strengthen Poland's position within Europe's defense landscape. The Bumerlebdi plant, one of Poland's primary armored vehicle facilities, will undergo comprehensive modernization as part of this project. The plan includes constructing a new production facility equipped with state-of-the-art robotic manufacturing lines, alongside the modernization of existing assembly areas. Upgrades will also extend to the plant's testing grounds, which are critical for ensuring the operational reliability and safety of newly produced vehicles. According to Monica Krucek, CEO of Bumerlebdi, the modernization will create a production center capable of handling a diverse array of armored vehicles, from traditional track tanks to wheeled support vehicles, while preserving the ability to maintain and produce crab artillery systems. This comprehensive approach is designed to provide long-term flexibility in production and ensure that Poland can meet both domestic and international demand for advanced military vehicles. The financial investment is planned to be distributed in multiple tranches, with the first installment of PLN 350 million expected in October following the submission of the company's formal application. Subsequent funding will be released over the period from 2026 to 2027. This staged approach allows the plant to begin preparatory work immediately, while gradually scaling up production capacity and workforce. Currently, Bumerlebdi employs over 800 individuals, but the modernization and expansion plans aim to increase this number to approximately 1,400 by 2028. This growth in employment will not only support the increased production requirements but also help rebuild Poland's domestic expertise in armored vehicle design and manufacturing, a capability that has been underutilized since the facility last produced PT-91 tanks for Malaysia in 2009. Central to this modernization effort is the production of the K-2PL main battle tank, a variant of the South Korean K-2 Black Panther. In August, Bumerlebdi signed a major contract for 180k2 tanks valued at $6.5 billion, scheduled for delivery between 2026 and 2030. Of these, 116 tanks will be delivered in the K2GF configuration during 2026 to 2027, while the remaining 64 tanks will be manufactured as K2PL variants between 2028 and 2030. Notably, 61 of the K2PL tanks will be produced domestically at Bumerlebdi, while the first three K2PL units and all K2GF models will be manufactured in South Korea. This arrangement ensures a smooth transition in technology transfer and production capabilities while maintaining continuity in delivery schedules. The contract also includes the supply of 81 support vehicles based on the K2 chassis, highlighting the comprehensive approach of the modernization program. These support vehicles encompass 31 armored recovery vehicles, 25 engineering vehicles, and 25 bridge layers, all of which will play a critical role in ensuring the operational effectiveness of Poland's armored formations. Deliveries of these support vehicles are scheduled for 2029 to 2031, providing a long-term framework for expanding and modernizing Poland's armored capabilities. The inclusion of these vehicles reflects a holistic understanding of modern armored warfare, where tanks alone are insufficient without accompanying engineering, recovery, and logistical support systems. A key component of the program is technology transfer, which will empower Poland to take full control over the production, maintenance, and operational capabilities of the K2PL tanks. Hyundai Rotom, the South Korean manufacturer, will provide the necessary tools and production equipment to establish the assembly lines for both tanks and support vehicles. 
This collaboration ensures that Bumer Labdi will have the technical infrastructure and know how to produce modern armored vehicles independently in the future. The technology transfer aspect of the contract is particularly significant, as it allows Poland not only to meet its immediate defense requirements but also to develop a self-sustaining defense industry capable of responding to evolving military challenges. Beyond manufacturing, the agreement also encompasses training, logistic support, and ammunition supplies. These elements are designed to ensure that the Polish armed forces can operate the K2PL tanks effectively from the moment they are delivered. Training programs will enable military personnel to master the complex systems integrated into modern main battle tanks, while logistics packages will support maintenance and operational readiness. The inclusion of a significant supply of ammunition ensures that Poland can maintain high levels of combat readiness without relying heavily on external sources. Collectively, these measures illustrate a comprehensive strategy that integrates production, technology, training, and logistics into a single, coherent defense initiative. The Bumer Labdi modernization represents more than just a production upgrade, it is a revival of Poland's historical expertise in armored vehicle design and manufacturing. The plant had previously produced PT-91 tanks for export but had not engaged in large-scale domestic production of advanced tanks for over a decade. By re-establishing production capabilities and expanding technical expertise, Poland is laying the groundwork for long-term innovation in the defense sector. This revival is not only strategic but also symbolic, demonstrating Poland's commitment to modernizing its military capabilities while retaining control over critical defense technologies. Poland's investment in Bumer Labdi also carries broader geopolitical implications. By producing K2PL tanks and associated support vehicles domestically, Poland strengthens its defense autonomy within Europe. The country becomes less reliant on foreign suppliers for critical armored platforms, which enhances national security and provides greater flexibility in responding to potential regional threats. In a period of increasing geopolitical uncertainty, the ability to produce, maintain, and upgrade advanced armored vehicles locally represents a significant strategic advantage. The modernization of the Bumer Labdi plant is also expected to have positive economic effects. Expanding the workforce, integrating advanced manufacturing technologies, and increasing production capacity will stimulate the local economy in Glavica and beyond. Furthermore, the technology transfer and development of domestic expertise may open opportunities for future exports of Polish manufactured armored vehicles and systems. This combination of economic and strategic benefits underscores the multifaceted value of the investment, positioning it as a model for defense modernization that other nations might look to replicate. In conclusion, Poland's $234 million investment in the Bumer Labdi armored vehicle plant represents a comprehensive strategy to modernize its defense industry, produce cutting-edge K2PL tanks, and develop the necessary technical and operational expertise to sustain these capabilities over the long term. The project encompasses production line upgrades, technology transfer, workforce expansion, and integrated support systems, reflecting a holistic approach to national defense. Beyond immediate military benefits, the initiative strengthens Poland's autonomy, stimulates local industry, and positions the country as a significant player in European armored vehicle production. By reviving its domestic expertise and embracing advanced technologies, Poland is not only preparing for current security challenges but also laying the foundation for sustained innovation and resilience in the defense sector for decades to come.